A sad day for Serbian football as Nemanja Vidic withdraws his candidacy for president of Football Sarve Serbia. Hello and welcome to White Eagles TV. I'm your host Mitch uh, on uh, on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, and I woke up to news uh, this morning that yeah, Nemanja Vidic withdrew his candidacy and he's out. He's gone. And I, sad news, it really, uh, really upset me when I woke up this morning. I thought maybe this was a chance um, of, you know, some new, some new ideas, a new figure up front, you, you know, with a new team and bring some, you know, bring some, uh, you know, a better days for Serbian football. But unfortunately, it didn't go that way. Uh, the vote was meant to take place uh, to, well, on the 14th. It's 14 here in Australia, so it would have been uh, today, uh, tonight, uh, our time. Uh, so he's withdrawn his candidates. I can only think that the, the only reason he's withdrawn is to sort of sh shine a light on how corrupt uh, the whole the whole vote would have been ahead of time to draw more attention to it. Um, if he had just gone and lost, you know, if you, you know, you lost by 30, 40 votes, then people at, you know, the powers of big can simply say, well, you know, it was a fair election. He, you know, he lost, this is how many votes he got. His, his age got this many votes. Uh, so what do you want from us? But he's withdrawn early uh, in, I, I can only say in the hope of drawing attention from, uh, you know, the media in Europe uh, on how corrupt and how, you know, the criminals control, you know, the Saves and football in Serbia. So I found uh, this article on on American um, on American media. Uh, so I'll just read it. Um, so Nemanja Vidic on Monday withdrew his candidacy for president of uh, Serbian Soccer Federation, an organization which has often been accused of corruption, crime, and political influence. We all know that's true. So... Bang on that. Uh, the only remaining candidate for the position is former player and veteran Red Star Belgrade official Dragan Zajic, which always knew was going to win, who's believed to, uh, who is believed to be close to the current popular Serbian government. Uh, and Vidic released a statement in saying, uh, our soccer faces big challenges. Uh, many things must and can be improved. My idea was and remains to assemble a team of top professionals who are able to solve these challenges. Unfortunately, every step of the way becoming the president of the federation, it was made clear to me we would not be given that chance. Uh, you know, short and sweet. Uh, and he goes on, uh, Zayic, the only remaining uh, candidate in Tuesday's election, has had legal issues tied to him in the past. I've spoken about this before, and I've posted photos of him being arrested. Uh, Zayic was pardoned in 2011 by the then uh, Serbian president uh, from charges of fraud. He allegedly, uh, during the sale of players from Red Star, uh, Goran Drulic, we, uh, you know, we, I spoke about that, to foreign teams uh, when he was a pre club's president. Ironically, Vidic was one of those players who sailed to Spartak Moscow from Red Star in 2004, was under legal scrutiny in his age case. And obviously he was pardoned by Nikolic, so he never had his day in court. So, I mean, obviously Zayic knew he was in trouble and, you know, the saying, no honor, no honor amongst thieves, in this case doesn't work, or it's not applicable because, um, you know, the, the powers of be pardoned Zage and he was let off scot free. Got you know he probably would have maybe seen some jail time. Who knows? I can't believe he was charged in the first place. But apparently you know someone went after him. Um, so I'll go on, on to one of my favorite uh, Twitter accounts, Serbian Footy, and say so this is where I heard the news this morning. I checked you know Twitter when I woke up. Uh, Vidic has withdrawn his candidacy for FIFA uh, for Football Service president after most of the delegates announced their support for the government candidate before tomorrow's election. A victory for the criminals and their paid supporters, but the fight never stops. Uh, and he also uh, posted this uh, from Daniel Taylor. Uh, Daniel Taylor is a senior football writer for the Athletic FC. I follow him. Um, so let's see what he said. He goes, uh, Vidic has withdrawn his candidacy, he, uh, withdrawn his bid to become the new president of FIFA, uh, Serbia's FIFA, uh, FA. Who can blame him? He was taking on a system that goes all the way to the top of the country. He tried, but it, it, but it was always going to be one battle he couldn't win. Um, and so this is when he had interviewed uh, Nem on the 8th of, uh, of uh, March. This guy, by the way, is 41 now. 
but I, f I still think you could do a job in the Manchester United defense. It was a pleasure to speak to Nemanja Vidic and hear what he has to uh, hear why he wants to become Serbian uh, president of, of uh, the FA. The Serbian football is dodgy beyond belief. This guy wants to clean it up. Uh, and there you have it. Uh, what else can we say? Um, it's not not known exactly what was happening behind the scenes. Hopefully, Nemanja comes out and, and tells us what was being told to him, what conversations he was, ha being, uh, you know, was having with delegates, what they were whispering in his ear in the back room, saying, Nem, get out of this race. You got no chance. Maybe he's... Um, I hate to think, but you know, most likely it was you know he, maybe his personal security was also at stake, uh, and he's just taken the uh, probably the, the the smart route and, and got the hell out of there. Not that I can blame him. Um, I, I've just posted a, on uh, on my Instagram account, White Eagles TV. Uh, he's out. I just woke up to sad news that Vidic has withdrawn his candidacy. This is typical political bullshit from Serbia's deep state. That unless you're connected and corrupted. You have no chance of winning uh, support from anybody. I hope by doing this, it shows UEFA that the crooks are in charge of the game in Serbia. That's my two cents. Uh, that's what um, that that's what I believe. I, I believe he's just withdrawn early to show you know UEFA you know what's what's actually going on in Serbia, and uh, maybe they can help. Maybe they can come in and and apply some sort of pressure to the powers that be, but. Um, I doubt it. I really doubt it. It's it's finished now. Um, Zage will be president uh, for the next four or five years. I'm, I'm not too sure how long they run for. I mean, 78, who knows if he can see out his term. He's an old man. Uh, I watched one of his interviews. He's an old man. Um, and yeah, it's a sad day for football, Serbian football. What, what changes from now? You know, we've got a Euros coming up in, two, in you know, next next weekend, not this weekend, coming the weekend after is when Serbia starts its Euro qualifying campaign. Uh, I, I still expect us to qualify, but then after that, what? Uh, are we just a team that makes up the numbers? At this stage, I think we are. Um, if there's some change, if, if Vidic could come in, maybe give us a different, different, you know, belief in the team. But at the moment, we're just a team that makes up the numbers. You know, it, we've got, oh, yeah, uh, saying concrete boots, uh, you know, our, our game is being held down by these these crooks who are only in the in it for themselves, and it's turned a good man away, a legend in in Serbian football and world football. You have to say one of the best ever defenders, and we've just we've just tossed him away. Uh, who knows we even come back to the game? Why would you? Why would you want to come back to this? Uh, so yeah, um, so I'll just leave it there. Uh, thanks for watching. It's a sad day. What can you do? Uh, we just turn our attention to the qualifiers next week, next Saturday morning here. We play Lithuania and Belgrade. Maybe the fans in the stands can, can you know, voice their disapproval of what's just happened today. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.